guys! Today I'm here with a Tiffany's Tell All Friday, obviously, because it's Friday. So today's question is in regards to Michaela's wardrobe. Uh, the question is, do we use bigger clothing to help dress Michaela easier? And the answer is yes and no. <laughs> um, some things we do use that is bigger, and some things we don't use that we don't really need bigger. So I'm going to show you a little bit of her closet um, and go through kind of the different types of clothing that she wears and which ones are bigger and which ones aren't. So first I'll just start off with um, her tank tops. So tank tops are kind of that item that we don't really need bigger um, and that is because it doesn't have sleeves. So it's easy just to put her one arm in and then her other arm in. You're not trying to fit a whole sleeve on. So we have only two tank tops for her right now because it's only winter so these are the ones that I carried over from the summertime so this is Michaela's size right now um, for her tank tops and this is a 7 8 small so this fits her well the length is good um, and like I said you don't have to try and fit her arms in it so um, this is a bigger tank top and I believe this is a large Oh no, it's a medium, but it looks like a large compared to this one, as you can tell. Um, it's the same length, however, as you can see, this one is a lot wider. And that's one of the problems we have with Michaela is that a lot of the times things will be way too wide on her. Um, but it's one of those things that we kind of have to deal with as well. So tank tops are one of those things that we can buy in her size. Okay, so next I have t-shirts. And t-shirts are one thing that we kind of have to just judge by the type of top it is. So I have a few different examples here. And the first one is a smaller size. Um, this is a 6, 7 small and the type of material it is it's fairly stretchy but it doesn't have a lot of stretch to it um so this one we can get on her once again because it is a shorter sleeve but it still got some sort of sleeve to it so it is a little bit harder to get on her if she's stiff that day um if she's just not cooperating or whatever um and then you have something like this where it has not so much of a shoulder um, or sleeve and it is a little bit more stretchier it gives a little bit more so this is a small size as well um, actually it's a bigger size um, but it is a smaller fit so it's a tight fit um, this is a large 10 12 but as you can see it's not as wide in the waist um, compared to some of the other clothing pieces that she has. So then we move on to something like this, where it is um, not as stretchy, so we need a bigger size. Um, it does have the cutoff sleeve, which makes it easier, but we find with these t-shirts, they're better when they're bigger. Um, so this is an extra large size 16 and it fits her well. Um, the other reason why we go with a bigger size is because she has a long body. So she's very tall for her age, just like Damien is. Um, both Kyle and I are pretty tall, so it's just one of those things where she is, you know, tall. <laughs> so then we have this one where it's a very thin, light airy material um, and it's very very stretchy so this is um, a bigger size as well but something like this material we can get away with being a smaller size so next up I have long sleeve shirts and these are the ones that are the toughest to get on Michaela because she's just laying down she's in an awkward position usually um, and she can't move her arms for us so it's the most difficult clothing item I think it to buy for Michaela. Um, yet it's one of the ones that she wears most. So these tops here are a very thin, um, I believe they're just cotton material. Um, and these sizes are 12 to 14 large. And this one fits her actually very well right now. Um, the width of it fits her well. The length of her arms fit well. And we can actually fit 
our hands in the sleeves to help bring her arm out of it. So that works well um, for a long sleeve shirt for her right now. Um, however, when we get into um, something like this, these are easy in some ways and harder in others. These are just a plain button up, well not plain, but a button up top and as well as this one. And the thing is we tend to shy away from button ups and the reason being is because there's hardly any stretch to the material. So trying to get your hands in there's no stretch in the material and it doesn't make things easier. However, the button up style actually makes it easier to get her, it on her. So you don't have to put it over top of her head, you can literally just roll her onto it and she can fit into it. Now this one has a um, built in tank top underneath and this one I think she's maybe worn once. Um, it's just the fact that it's too hard to get on her. It has no stretch in the uh, button-up area and then it's also a pullover. So this is something that we kind of shy away from for Michaela um, and it's just one of those things. I think it's super cute. She got it for Christmas one year and it's just one of those ones that stays in her closet. Then we have something like this where it's once again very similar to this one. However, this one is a very stretchy material. So this one we can get away with being a little bit smaller, closer to her actual size. Once again, these are long sleeve tops. However, they're pajama tops. And right now she has three sets of this exact PJ. So it has a pair of pants and a pair uh, shirt as well. And the pants fit perfect, which I will get into in a little bit. However, these shirts are getting too small, so now both pieces don't fit her. So um, this is a size, so this is a size 10, 12, and it's getting to the point where because there's not much stretch in this one, we're having a hard time pulling her arm through it. So we are actually going to be putting away all three of these sets that I have. Um, and there's another one there. So they're the exact same shirt and they're just too small. So that's a 10, 12, which technically she should be in like a seven and eight. So right there, we're going to be moving up to a large. Oh, and there is the third one. So then we have this and my mom actually got her this for Christmas and it is a set. Um, I'd have to find the pants, but um, this one is once again the same material but it's bigger so as you can see it's not as long as these ones but it is wider in the arms so it'll be much easier to get her in um, however I don't know about the length of this because once again she's very tall so this is actually an extra large 14 to 16 so you can see the width of it would be way too wide for her. She would probably need about that. <laughs> so I mean it's one of those things where you have to kind of judge is it worth it to put something a little bit bigger on her to be able to have the ease of getting her arms in. Then we have once again another button up but it's a silk material and once again silk has zero stretch to it. So this is something we tend to shy away from even though it has the button up with it. And even with this, the arms are very big on it. It's just something we shy away from because there is no stretch in it. As for 90s, she has a couple. Um, these are pretty much the only ones. I think there's one over here. One second. Okay, so these are all of her 90s. Um, or nightgowns, depending on what you want to call them. I'm sure other country calls them different things, but basically it's pajama dress. <laughs> so we have this type of material, which is the, if you can see, fuzzy material. And this has a little bit of stretch, not too much, but this is a um, extra large. So that's something that we would have in a bigger size 
because there isn't much stretch to it. Now, something like this where it's just a t-shirt nighty, and this basically is now a t-shirt for her. This is a very small size. I think I want to say this is like a four to six size. However, we still use it because there's lots of stretch and it's a thin material. This nighty I think is super cute. It's a Tinkerbell nighty that Kyle's dad got her a few years ago. However, it's getting to the point where we don't put it on her. And one of the reasons being is because the um, sleeves are cinched in with an elastic and we don't want that tight around her anymore. So it's not the point of getting her arm in, it's more of this tight band around her arm. Because if it's, most of the time her sleeve will slide up like this and then sit here and it will leave a mark. So this one we are sadly shying away from now. Um, and hopefully I'll just have another girl one day and she can use it. Once again, this is another Tinkerbell nighty. I believe Kyle got this for her, maybe my mom and dad. Um, but again, it's that fuzzy material. So it ha doesn't have too, too much stretch. So, and a longer thin sleeve. So we're tending to shy away from that as well. Now we have different types of sweaters and these are pullover sweaters. So they have to be pulled over your head in order to get them on. Once again, we tend to shy away from these because for the most part, they just are too hard to get on her. Um, this one again is that fuzzy type of material and I think she's probably worn it once um, just because there's hardly any stretch and this has a very thin um, arm to it. Now something like this which is more of like a cotton type t-shirt material. Oh, polyester. So 50% cotton, 50% polyester. So that's more of what we kind of um, go to. But this here, you can see, is pretty worn because she uses it a lot. It has a wider arm and it's nice and easy to get on her. It cinches in at the bottom so that it keeps her um, skin from showing on cold days. We do put her in these a lot. Now, as for something like this, it's another pullover. It's super cute. However, I think she's probably worn it once and that is because you can see here, this is not very wide and getting that over her head is not the easiest thing. So once again, I think I'll be putting that one away, which she's had in her closet for a couple years. Now, this one is basically a sweater I would want to wear myself. However, we don't put it on Michaela very often. So we just have other sweaters that fit her better with zippers um, that we tend to grab more. So once again, this is a super nice quality uh, sweater. However, we just don't put it on her because it's just too hard to put on her. So this is actually a 14 to 16 and it's just something we tend to once again shy away from. Now we have zip up sweaters. So these are a couple of different types of them and the first two are very thin material uh, zip ups and for the most part once again we shy away from these and that's because they're tight fitted. So something like this it's too hard to get on Michaela if she's wearing a long sleeve like I said she normally wears long sleeves so something like this to be able to get it on over top of a long sleeve is just too hard if she's wearing a t-shirt you know spring you know end of summertime then we can put something like this on her however I, once again it's just tight fitted so it's hard to get on her same with this one again a really nice sweater However, just something that we don't tend to put on her. Now we have these plain, you know, Walmart just sweaters. They have the zip up, they're nice and big. This is a size large 14. She wears this one all the time because it's easy to get on her. Um, it stretches. As well as this one, it is a bigger one. This is a large. And this is a nice thick one. Um, 
it's got the fuzz inside and this is something we can put over top of a long sleeve and yet it still goes on fairly easily so it's more baggy on her but warmth is the most important thing we have a couple vests for Michaela and with these we can get away with a smaller one however because she's normally wearing a thicker sweater we go with a bigger size so this first one is an extra large size 14 and this one is an extra large as well so they're pretty much identical pink vests um, my mom got her this one and then Kyle's dad got her this one and they work well however once again we don't really put these on her and that's because if it's cold out and she needs that extra warmth her arms are the most important thing that we need to keep warm because her core is always warm and she's good that way it's more of her arms and her hands that get cold so we need that sleeve to keep her warm so these we tend to shy away from unless it's super sunny nice and she can wear a thin um, shirt underneath now for dresses we tend to um, stay with the spaghetti strap ones they're super easy to get on they go over her head easily um, and she can wear her size in them this one is a medium 10 12 so it's a little bit bigger and the reason why I bought this one a little bit bigger is because this is one of the dresses she wore on our wedding night um, it's the teal color that matched perfectly with my bridesmaids dress um, and sh this was the dress she changed into after she wore her uh, beautiful ball gown type white dress so that's why I went a little bit bigger because I wanted her to be able to wear it for a little while um, and then I can put it away and keep it as a keepsake once again these are just spaghetti strap these are more her size um, six seven and that's a medium so these are the exact same dress one is a little bit bigger than the other we tend to stay away from these dresses um, they have the multiple layers underneath and they're just too hard to fiddle with um, this is a beautiful Easter type dress so she does go in it um, and it does have a zipper which makes things easier however it's not something that we put her in all the time now we have two onesies for Michaela and for obvious reasons she doesn't go in onesies very often um, and that is because bigger onesies they don't have the zipper all the way down the leg they only go to about there so as you can see to get Michaela in this it was very difficult you have to start with her legs put one in each and then try and pull it up on her while she's laying down same with this one that she got from Santa it again the zipper only goes to there so it's not easy to get her in it this one is a large 14 and this one is actually a 7 8 however it's pretty much the same size as the 7 uh, the 14 size one it's just a little tad shorter so this one we won't probably put on her very often but it was cute to match for Christmas and Damien will eventually use it so this one we do actually use fairly often because it is a nice um, it's not a stretchy material it's that fuzzy type material again but it's nice for winter days when you don't want the cold going up her back because when she sits in the wheelchair sometimes the, her coat will ride up and we don't like that so this guarantees that no bare skin will be showing moving on to socks these for the most part stay her size because she needs to have socks that fit her correctly and don't fall off next we have these little bralette and panties and for the most part these stay her size these ones are actually too small um, but they still fit her they are a small four to six um, and these are basically if it's hot and we just don't want her little privates showing um, and then she's got this other one the exact same 
but it is one size bigger and it is a medium 6 8 so this one fits her perfectly um, something like this we don't go bigger because once again they're easy to get on her and you want them to be tight fitting now pants that is where it kind of gets tricky um, I'm not going to show you a lot of them but I'll pick out a couple to show you okay so I just have her pants set aside and I'll kind of show you one by one what they are so these are the pajamas once again that go with those sets and they fit her perfectly however like I said the shirts are too small so these have a very small waist which fit Michaela perfectly that is actually true to her size and these are a 10 to 12 size so roughly a medium and the length is perfect for Michaela because once again she has super long legs so we have a hard time finding pants that are long enough for her legs but small enough for her waist for the most part Michaela wears pants that are way too big and we just have to deal with it so these are a pair of pants that Michaela got for Christmas which are a perfect example these have a nice long leg because she is getting longer so we try and tend to um, her length with pants and these are an extra large 14 to 16 they're nice and stretchy however they don't need to be stretchy up top because her waist is so tiny so if I show you against these pants that's how small her actual waist is and that is how big the waistband on these are so for the most part she wears pants that are super baggy around her waist now yoga pants I love on Michaela they look super cute um, and they are stretchy so she can use these in a size closer to her original size so these are 10 12 and the length is good it's perfect and the waist is a little bit big but they are closer than the other pants that I just showed you so something like this we love putting her in yoga pants they work well because they stretch so I can even tuck them into her socks if I need to if they're gonna show a little bit of leg um, like I do <laughs> and yeah I love yoga pants for Michaela once again leggings we buy a little bit larger um, but they're nice because they're super stretchy everywhere so you know you can tuck them into socks and whatever these are 10 12 the length is perfect but you can stretch them if she needs it and the waist on these are actually a little bit big she probably needs closer to that um, but it works for, well for Michaela now these are like splash pants if I can show you they're like splash pants we used to have a pair of snow pants for Michaela however they I think were like a size 6 and they got too small for this year so I found these and picked them up I think they were on clearance somewhere um, and they have the lining in the in the center or on the inside and so the thing is with these is that they're hard to get over top of pants so I needed to make sure that they were going to be wide enough at the leg that I knew we could get our hands up there and like pull her leg down however I managed to find one with a small waist so sometimes we get lucky and there will be a smaller waist on a longer length pant I find depending on the brand um, you get lucky now as for shorts we get to basically stay with her size these are a 6x which is a really good size for her because the waist is so small they stay up on her and there's nothing really to put her leg into so we love putting her in shorts because they're so easy however of course because we're in Canada she only gets to wear them in the summer <laughs> so we stay to her true waist size for um, short sizing moving on to shoes this is what we pretty much put Michaela in because it's easy to get her foot in they're flexible they move in form to her foot um, and for the most part because her feet are flexed so because our feet are normally like this hers are normally like this they slide in and they sit like that so her foot doesn't normally go down the length of the boot 
but it covers her actual foot and it makes it look like her feet are normal. <laughs> so this is what she normally wears in the winter and fall, uh, spring months. They're easy, like I said, they're flexible. So that's what she normally wears. In the summertime or, you know, when it gets a little bit warmer, this is what I kind of put on her um, for shoes. Once again, her foot kind of slides in this way and stays like this. So her foot doesn't actually sit in and down like this. It's more sitting like this. So I find with these skater type shoes, they're, they leave the tongues out and I wear these. I love these. They're so comfy. <laughs> um, I wear DC shoes and they're getting super hard to find, but these are just a Walmart brand for Michaela and they work well because this tongue moves. So these are a tighted fit running shoe. Um, they're more of a loose type skater shoe. So they work for Michaela perfectly. And of course, for my next kid, they will be brand new, which I love. <laughs> So I think that's pretty much it for what's in her closet. Now I'm going to move on to coats. And I tell you, this kid has more coats than anyone I know. <laughs> she has more coats than me. And well, maybe her father has more coats, but. Um, so she got two coats for Christmas and they are bigger sizing because we originally had this coat. I bought this coat, was it last year or the year before? I can't remember um, it is a size medium and which normally is fine and dandy however it's got the fuzzies material in it and it's hard to put this on when she has a sweater on now because she's getting bigger once again these arms do not stretch at all so trying to get your arm in there and pulling out a already sleeved arm is not easy. <laughs> so this worked very well for the last couple of years. Um, the hood was nice and warm and cute. Um, she's not in blue much, so I only found this because I thought it would be great for her, which it did work. Um, but now we're moving on to something else. So a size medium coat is too small for her now. Um, however, on a normal child, it'd probably be easy. Then we have this coat. I believe my mom got this for her, and I don't know if she's actually ever worn it. Um, it's one of those ones that gets hidden and we don't grab, and that's because, once again, the arms are not stretchy. Um, this has, like, a fur inside, so it is softer to, to slide, um, other materials on. However, like I said, it doesn't have any stretch in the arm. This one also doesn't have a hood, which we like Michaela to have, so we can just pull it up over, and then that way her ears are protected in the winter. Now this coat she got, when did she get this coat? I don't even remember. I think last year, maybe, for her birthday or something. Um, and this is a raincoat, which she's never actually owned. And we were finding that in the spring and fall months, she didn't need something so thick like a winter coat, but she still needed something to protect her from rain and wind. So this one has the, once again, fuzzy type um, material inside. However, it is pretty smooth because it's not that super thick fuzziness. So this one, um, it is tight to get on her because of the arms, there's no stretch to it. But for what it does for Michaela, we find it worth it. So, and also this is a bigger size. So this is an extra large 14 to 16. Now I'll just show you, I have three more coats. I have this one. This one she barely ever wears. I bought this for her Christmas last year. Um, it's a size medium. It's getting too small. It has the fuzziness, whatever. <laughs> Um, this coat she got for my mom this year, and it is a firefly coat, so she's never owned a nice coat, um, like this, but the thing that we like about this most is that it's a super warm coat because of the quality of it, however, it's not super thick and bulky, so her straps on her chair can fit better, um, it's easier to get her into it, 
but it's still warm so it has that very fine it has that very fine fuzzy material to it um but it works super well so she wore this for the first time today and i really really liked it on her it was so easy to put her in her chair with it and i really like it next i showed this in a haul video i'll have that linked in the i card um but she hasn't worn it yet it is a gap down filled coat and this is a extra large extra extra large and that's a 14 to a 16. so the only reason why i bought this is because it was a bigger size um the poofiness doesn't really work but because it's down filled it does compress nicely whereas the thicker type um material doesn't compress so much so this one will keep her super warm on cold cold days and it's a full long length coat which i love once again this the wind won't go up her back because this will sit underneath her bum so we know for sure that there's you know no drafting happening so this one again has a nice fuzzy warm hood and i love this one if i could wear this i would but it's of course too small so i love this coat for her i'm We'll probably be using this within the next week or so. Um, she hasn't been out in the severe cold. You guys probably saw my Instagram post. It was feeling like minus 42 degrees Celsius um, the other day. And we needed coats like this, but she wasn't going out anywhere. So in the next week, it's supposed to get colder again. Right now, we actually had a very, very mild day and it rained. Anyways, she'll probably be using this next week. And I'm super excited to see her on it because I actually have a bow that I bought her that I'm hoping that'll match too. So, well, guys, that is Michaela's wardrobe and kind of in depth of how we size things. I know it's kind of all over the place and it really just depends on what kind of material it is, what type of clothing it is, and what she's using it for, whether we're using it for warmth or comfort. Um, it just all depends on the specific piece of clothing. So I couldn't really just do a yes or no answer for this video, and it's kind of a long video. Sorry about that, I'm going to try and cut it down as much as I can. But this is Michaela's wardrobe, and I wanted to show it to you guys. So there are a few other pieces here and there that obviously I didn't show, um, but for the most part, like I said, we just base it off of the specific piece of clothing and its purpose. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification button if you haven't and that way you will be getting my videos every time they come out and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.